In this video, I'll show you how to get your students back into their test if it accidentally logs them out or the test kicks them out, as they may say. Um, so first thing to notice is that the status may still say testing for a student, even though the student has been logged out and they now see the screen with the session name and session password again, right? So what you need to do is you need to select the student who's been logged out of their test or kicked out of their test select that student and then you're going to go up here to select action and you're going to suspend it's going to give you this warning to confirm are you sure you want to suspend this test click ok and you'll notice that the status is now suspended at this point you need your students to completely log out of their computers right they could even restart them by holding down the power button for approximately 10 seconds right but the important thing is they need to they need to log completely out of the nwea secure browser and then go back in once the students have logged completely out of the NWEA secure browser and then gone back in, and again, you, the easiest way to do that may just be to completely restart the computer, right? Once they've done that, then you want to go ahead and click on their name again, select action, test again. Now, given the terminology, the students may ask, is this going to start me all over again? And the answer is no, it's going to start them right where they left off. Right, so at this point, the status is awaiting students. So now they need to type in the session name and the session password again. So I'll take a moment and I'll do that. All right, so once the student enters their session name and session password again, they're going to choose their name from the list just like they did when they first logged in. And then you'll notice the status here if we refresh the page. Now they're waiting to be confirmed. So again, we're going to select that student by either clicking the box there or choosing to be confirmed. And then we'll go ahead and confirm that student. It's going to tell you that that student has already started the test and they're going to start it right from where they left off. You just need to click done. That student is confirmed. And then within a couple of seconds, they'll get that blue button on their screen again. They click that and they restart their test right from where they left off. So just to review those steps again, if the student was kicked out, you would click on that student's name, the box to the left, select action, suspend test. Once you suspend the test, the student needs to log completely out of NWEA browser. They can do that by even restarting the computer if that's the, the easiest way to explain to the student how to do that. Once they've logged completely out of the browser, they can go back into NWEA Secure Browser. You're going to make sure you click that student, select action, test again. At that point, the student enters their session name, their session password. Their status will change to waiting to be confirmed. You'll make sure you have that student selected and you'll click confirm and then they'll be back in their test and they'll pick off right where they left off.